now we're here in Miami with Hiro Hamaya from Honda. How are you? Good, how are you? Uh, nice place to show off the new Honda Fit, it's huh? It's a perfect place to show the new Fit, yes. Yeah, uh, the Fit has, um, I was in San Diego, the national uh, mm -hmm. launch, uh, the media launch, but now it's hitting the, uh, the showrooms. Yes, uh, right about now it's, it's being delivered to the showroom, so you should be able to see it uh, towards the end of April. Yeah. And the big, I mean, one of the big changes with the new Fit is that it's built in uh, Celaya in Mexico. Yes. For the first time, we have a local factory, which uh, we can be... In the past, because of uh, Japan production, we had some uh, volume restriction uh, because of the global demand. But now we have a Celaya plant, which have uh, more allocation for the U.S. market. So yeah. When you mentioned global demand, 5 million units of the Honda Fit sold? 5.16 <laughs> million units uh, That's sold. That's amazing. Yes, so it's if, one of the best sellers. If the Fit was a car brand, it would be pretty high up in the in the numbers, no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> an definitely. Ama an amazing little car. I think people get a lot of surprise, uh, get very surprised mm -hmm. when they mm -hmm. when they see the car. But like from the outside, obviously, it's like a small car, a compact yes. car. Then when they get inside, there's a lot of cool things in that. Yes, car. yes. Small outside, big inside is one of the, you know, uh, big advantage of the Fit. Yeah. Uh, one of the key things that has allowed Honda to make it so utilitarian inside is that you have done very smart things in designing the bottom part of the car and the mm -hmm. word. Uh, can you explain a little bit that of that way? Um, the uniqueness of the fit is that we have a uh, uh, fuel tank, center tank layout, uh, which we call the center center tank layout, uh, because usually the center uh, the fuel tank is underneath the passenger seat, so that it's going to lose the uh, passenger seat uh, capacity. But now we have it removed underneath the driver's seat, so, and they made it a little bit narrower uh, comparing to the uh, current generation. That's why we were able to make uh, the cargo space bigger now. Yeah. One of the things that a lot of people don't know about um, gas tanks nowadays is that it's not really just like a deposit. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very, very sophisticated piece of, the, of equipment, right? Yes. And that's yes. why also it's pretty much impossible to suck out gas on the tank nowadays, right? Uh, I think, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> impossible, yes. Uh, so uh, this configuration inside allows you, I mean, like five people can sit comfortably in there, but then when you start moving the seats around, mm -hmm. like, you, you can pretty have like a uh, flat configuration yes. or like a lot of cargo. We have about uh, four uh, seat configuration. We call it magic seat. So let's just say if you want to uh, haul a plant or tall uh, stuff inside the car, you can do that. We call it tall mode. Uh, we have a refresh mode, which is kind of new. Uh, you can have all the way seat all the way back, and then you can just relax on the in the car. Uh, it's kind of hard to uh, explain it uh, verbally, but uh, and then we have a cargo mode. Uh, so everything is gonna be flat underneath. I mean, uh, on the uh, passenger side, so you can hold everything, yeah. uh, like bicycle or surfboards, anything like that. In the middle seat, the second row seat, one of the intelligent solutions is that the the. I think the seat part of the bench mm -hmm. comes up or is uh, yes, that's a that's a tall mode. And that comes uh, from uh, I think you inherit that from the element, no? That the seat, the element, seats the side, element like, seats goes on the sideways, side. exactly. Yes, but this one goes uh, completely I mean, go up, upright, exactly. Yes, and that allows you to put like you were saying the middle part of it. You can put like a bike, yes. a bicycle with yes. other wheels, yes. or, like a, a big dog maybe. Yeah. If you go to a dealership, I would uh, highly recommend that you bring. Uh, Whatever you want to haul. If you're a surfer, bring the surfboard oh, to the dealership and check it out. Yeah. Or if you have a dog, bring the dog and then make sure that it's going to fit are in the, your fit. Are the dealership going to be okay with that? Uh, yes, I think so. Because yeah. I think this kind of car is exactly that. You have, I mean, that's a great great idea of making mm -hmm. like, the car mm -hmm. really try. Because one, one, one thing is to drive it, which is yes. great. Yes. Like a new engine, new transmission and all that. But also, I mean, like you use it, you try it for you when you're gonna yes, use it, right? Yes, yes, because we think our customer is very, very practical, uh, and that's why they love Honda brand. And uh, you know, if if it's a uh, uh, If it's going to determine whether or not you're going to buy it by having a dog inside, then dealership will should be able to allow you to do that, right? Pretty smart. So, can you touch a little bit briefly on the engine and the powertrain, transmission, all that? Um, it's a new Earth Dream uh, technology engine and uh, transmission, and uh, horsepower is uh, 130 horsepower with 117 uh, torque. So, it's a big improvement from the previous uh, uh, version. Transmission and MPG. Uh, transmission is uh, six. Uh, it comes with a CVT or uh, 6MT. CVT comes with a paddle shifter, uh, which does uh, seven levels of the shifting. And the uh, uh, fuel economy is a uh, 36 combined 41 highway. Wow, it's almost like as much as a hybrid. Yes, yes. It's pretty amazing. 
Uh, what about price? What are we price about starts price? from fifteen five. If you uh, opt in with a LX uh, with a six MT manual, CVT a uh, thousand more, and then uh, when you move up to EX, uh, it's going to start from sixteen five. And what's the most you can spend uh, on a Honda Fit, and what do you get with it? I'm sorry. Say it again. How much? How much can you spend? Top money. Oh, top money will be twenty. And and what do you get with the? Twenty thousand eight hundred is top of the line uh, trim, which is E X L Navi. Uh, you get, of course, uh, built-in navigation system. You get X M radio. You get H D radio with the traffic. You get leather seat, leather everything, shift knob, uh, uh, steering wheel. Um, you have a seven-inch display audio. You have a sixteen-inch alloy. You have a spoiler. You name it. You got, you got everything. Uh, I think you're forgetting one of the very cool features. The lane, lane watch. The lane, yes, watch. lane watch. Yeah, That's you, like you super can't forget. Cool. <laughs> yes. But again, rear view camera is a standard on the, uh, all across the model, uh, the trims. And the, uh, as you mentioned, lane watch, which is very, very highly received in the market, is uh, a standard on the EX and above. Yeah. And uh, can you explain a little bit that, uh, of that feature? Because I, I, uh, I know it first on the Accord, I believe. Okay. But can you explain how it works? I mean, it's fascinating. How it works is that uh, all you need to do is to turn on the blinker on the, on the right. And then automatically on the display audio, 7-inch display audio, uh, you will see what projected from the camera on the right-hand side. So, for example, if you want to make a right turn and you're not sure if the bicycle is coming or not, you turn on the signal and then you will show the, it will show the bicycle on the screen. Therefore, you don't have to uh, have turn your around. yeah turn around your, your head. And uh, that's really good for that safety reason, but also that's the reason for not having on the, on the left side. Left side, yes. Because if you're turning to the left, mm -hmm. you don't want to look to the right. Exactly, exactly. So pretty cool. So uh, a lot of the successful people are here from uh, Southern Automotive Media Association looking around the car. Uh, I think they like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I must point out one thing. Uh, okay. Even though Display Audio and the Lane Watch does all those stuff, it's supposed to help you guide, you know, driving. So I would still recommend to turn your head and then watch uh, yourself whether, oh, okay. or not, whether or not there's an object on coming from the or right. Or maybe bringing you on the, for the right. Yes, <laughs> yes, I can be a navigator. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Thank you here very Thank much. Very much. And, uh, we'll be able to keep enjoying the car. Here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.